Hi, I'm MJ with iFixit, and we sent our co-founder 18 hours into the future to Melbourne, Australia to be the very first person to get his hands on an iPhone 4S. But, surprise, surprise, while he was waiting in line, FedEx delivered an early iPhone 4S to lucky iFixit user Marcus Weyer in Germany. So with Marcus's help, we were able to get an even earlier look inside the iPhone 4S. If you, like many of us, are an Apple fan, you'll know that this isn't the first time Apple has slapped the letter S on the end of a device name and expected us to get all hot and bothered about it. And while many folks on the internet are feeling very meh about the lack of an exterior redesign in the iPhone 4S, we here at iFixit aren't just looking for a pretty facelift. Historically, being that one time Apple released the 3GS after the 3G, we've seen major hardware upgrades in Apple S devices, and on those grounds, the iPhone 4S does not disappoint. And on that exciting note, let's jump into our iPhone 4S teardown review. None of the rumored exterior changes were made. In fact, the iPhone 4S is nearly identical to the iPhone 4, all the way down to the pentalobe screws that we mentioned several months ago. And because this is not our first rodeo, we had just the right driver to do the job. Once the rear panel was removed, we got our first glimpse inside the device. And as expected, the lack of major design changes is reflected on the inside as well. The first thing we noticed was the upgraded battery. Though it might not sound like much, the 4S's battery has an additional 0.05 watt hours, which according to Apple gives an additional hour of talk time, but curiously, 100 less hours of standby time, which given the updates in hardware still seems like an efficient use of power. With the logic board removed, we notice that it bears close resemblance to the stateside CDMA iPhone 4, but the real differences are under those EMI shields. The major upgrade in the iPhone 4S is the new A5 dual-core processor, boasting 512 megabytes of RAM. Our friends over at Chipworks provided us with a die photo that shows just how complicated that little chip is. And if details about dual-core processors aren't your thing, let's talk camera. The iPhone 4S finally competes with its smartphone brothers with an upgraded 8 megapixel camera. Better yet, Apple boasts 73% more light with next-generation backside illumination for better low-light performance. And I desperately want to make a backside illumination joke, but I'll leave that up to you folks at home. If shooting video is more your thing, the iPhone 4S shoots in HD at 1080p and 30 frames per second, so it sounds like you can downsize your man purse and leave your video camera at home. Apple has supposedly fixed the antenna issue that emerged immediately following the release of the iPhone 4, but as our teardown iPhone is in Germany, we'll have to leave that all to you guys to tell us for sure. Hardware-wise, we're at the end of our journey, but I would be remiss if I didn't at least attempt to answer the question that's on the minds of everybody that owns an iOS device. Why can't my device run Siri? Well, here's what we do know. Siri started as an iOS app. But now that Apple owns it, it has deep integration into the entire system, but is only available on the iPhone 4S. So it could be that Apple's holding out on us in order to drive sales of the iPhone 4S. Or maybe previous generations of iOS devices simply don't have the hardware to run such an intense application. The verdict is still out on that one, but one thing is certain. Those of us with plain old iPhone 4s definitely have Siri envy. Whenever we wrap up a teardown review, we aim to answer one specific question. Just how repairable is the device? On a scale of 1 to 10, 10 being the easiest to repair and 1 being the most difficult, the iPhone 4S scores a 6, just like the iPhone 4, which makes sense when you consider that not much has changed between the two devices in terms of repairability. The rear panel and battery are still a breeze to replace, assuming you have a pentalobe driver, but the LCD and glass are still fused together, making a cracked glass repair far more costly. In a nutshell, if you're primarily interested in a boost in performance, the iPhone 4S is a safe bet. Preliminary benchmarks posted on the web have it performing 58% faster than the original iPhone 4, and trouncing all other smartphones by a large margin. If you're more interested in a pretty facelift, you'd be better off waiting for the iPhone 5. For the complete teardown and high-resolution images, head on over to ifixit.com. And for all the latest teardowns and repair videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on Twitter at twitter.com slash ifixit. Thanks for watching, and happy repairing.